Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I did a video this week on my favorite face masks. I will leave that video linked down below just in case you guys missed it. But I did tell you in that video that I was going to share with you a mask that I do at home that's from my kitchen. You guys might already know because so many people do homemade masks at home, but this is just one ingredient and it's baking soda. Yes, <laughs> baking soda is my friend. I do not live without my baking soda. It has so many benefits, it's crazy. If you guys were to look up the benefits of baking soda, there will be a very, very long list of great, great things about this baking soda. So the one thing that I use baking soda for is a face mask. Now, like I said in that video, my skin, I, I've had acne most of my life. I just started maybe clearing up my acne within the last, well, I don't know, maybe about five or six years or so. And it's gotten a lot better. I have very large pores. I have a lot of scarring from my post acne that I did suffer from. So I, I just feel like this baking soda has really helped my skin. Now I'm gonna be totally honest with you and just let you guys know that it's been a very long time since I've used baking soda for a mask. But I just started getting into it within the last couple of weeks and I have to say my skin has improved a lot. So yeah, going on to this baking soda, it's so easy to use. I just use water. You can use um, apple cider vinegar, which I do use um, apple cider vinegar once in a while, but you can just use straight water. Um, I'm going to take you guys to my bathroom so that I can actually demonstrate how I actually use this mask. Before I get onto the demo, I just want to let you guys know that it might not work for you. So just to give you guys a heads up, I haven't, like, I noticed that my skin was a lot softer the first time I ever used this. Like the next day, it was really, really soft. It felt really good. Um, it will feel like your skin is really tight. It might feel a little bit dry. So you want to make sure you put a really good moisturizer on at nighttime. Something, you know, a little bit on the thicker side, especially now that it's winter time, your skin is a little bit more dry. So you need something that's going to add some moisture. After you remove this with water, you want to make sure you use some sort of toner just to get that excess stuff off because you might not be able to get rid of some of it so you want to use a toner bring back your pH level back into your skin and then add your cleanser so if you guys want to see how I mix this baking soda and apply it then just keep on watching this video okay guys we are in the bathroom right now so I just finished cleansing my face and the first thing I do is I take these elf wipes and I start removing all my makeup and then I go in with the Clinique rinse off um, foaming cleanser which I use every single night and I always add a little bit of some jojoba oil in there as well uh, this just really helps break down the makeup and then after that I go in with my Bioderma solutions just to make sure that most of my makeup is completely off my face and then here are the stuff that we need so here's the baking soda and then I just have a measuring cup <laughs> that's where I'm going to be mixing it and then I have my teaspoon that I'm going to be using for the baking soda so let me go ahead and okay I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time yeah this is I can't find my stand okay so we're just going to place a little bit in there and then we are going to start adding our water now just so you guys know oh, we want to make sure it's warm water, not too cold and not too hot. So just kind of lukewarm room temperature. Okay. And then I'm going to start mixing that and you want to make sure it's a pretty thick paste. I think I added a little bit too much water. Yeah, and you can see it's quite runny. So I'm going to dump just a little bit out. And we are going to add a little bit more baking soda. I guess I'm not really prepared for this. 
Okay, so we want to just make sure it's thick enough that you actually feel it exfoliating on your skin. You don't want it too liquidy. And it's pretty milky right now. Um, you can see it's starting to thicken up. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to try and bring this up closer. So I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but you can see that it's starting just to thicken up a little bit. And that's exactly what you want. And this is a little bit too much, guys, but that's okay. <laughs> so we're just going to rub that in. Okay, I hope I'm not blurry. I don't know if I'm in focus or not, but I have my mask on. Right now, you can't tell. It's not visible right now, but after, once it starts to dry, you will see it's going to turn white, and you're going to see these like little tiny crystals, and that's basically the baking soda, because right now I'm just using water. Um, right now, I do feel tingle. It's tingling a little bit, but I actually really, really like the feeling of that. That means it's working, and it should... The tingle should go away in about three minutes and then 10 minutes I will take it off. Uh, maybe I'll check back and show you guys how it's turned white on the skin if the camera is going to pick it up, but I'll just come back in 10 minutes. Okay guys, it's been 10 minutes, so I don't know if the camera is actually picking up, but you can see that it actually turned white and you can see <laughs> it's um, it feels pretty good. It's not too hard on the skin. I can definitely taste the baking soda in your mouth, so if you don't like that, I don't know if you're going to like this, but it's not that bad, really. If I'm talking in a really low voice, it's because my son is actually sleeping and I really don't want him to wake up because I'm super tired right now. And I'm going to bed right after this. Okay, so I'm going to just remove it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I removed um, the, the mask, but I just want to show you guys what I put on my skin after. Like, after I take that mask off, I always use this toner, this rose petal toner. Uh, with witch hazel and it's just very very soothing and I usually tend to put this on every time well I use it pretty much every day but after I, I mask I always use this stuff I pick this up on iHerb I also use the Jason aloe vera moisturizing gel and I only wear this at nighttime but this really helps soothe my skin especially after I've used a mask especially like this because the baking soda can be quite an intense mask so it's very deep cleansing so I need something that is going to help soothe and just keep my skin really moisturized and my lips are super super dry right now so I'm using the Victoria's Secret scrub which I really like they stopped continuing this here in Canada but I think you can still get it in the States but I'm really sad about it because I really do like this stuff and this is new this is the mind focus oh there we go okay this is the rosebud slave lip balm it is excellent i really really like it you'll probably see this in an upcoming haul okay guys so that is my mask that i do at home with baking soda uh, there is other ways that i do use it i even instead of using water i will use uh, apple cider vinegar so if you guys want to try that you can go ahead and try that as well it's a little bit more intense and the smell is a lot stronger, but it's a really great mask and the apple cider vinegar is amazing, amazing. I'll probably do a separate video on the apple cider vinegar. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.